Are you ready to go to the next level in Flight Simulator 2024? Then this is the video for you. Let's roll the intro and then let's look at the details. As we all know, Flight Simulator 2024 contains the electronic flight pack, right? I maximized it now, but if I close it again, right, you will see it opens up in, I would say, kind of easier mode. And the nice thing is that in some aircraft, it's also accessible via the electronic flight pack if the aircraft is switched on, of course. But what you might not have seen is something which is super cool. Uh, let me extend the view. Because to extend the view, you will see that by default, the level is set to standard, right? So in this case, there are some things which are, let's say, need to be checked, right? Before entering the aircraft, right? These are the external uh, inspections, which you can do. Uh, you can easily access them, right? By pressing the control C, uh, then you will go out to the cockpit or shift C, sorry. And then you can walk around right here using the cockpit. And if you are having, I would say, uh, the GSX, add-on you can also add the stairs and then walk in if you want to do that then have a look at the top of this video because there's a link to the video uh, which describes that in more detail however going back to the cockpit because that's where we want to be because we don't want to have that uh, noisy sound from the rest so one of the things which i figured out is okay hey this is kind of nice right all the things are there but in some cases these checklists might work perfectly for you but what if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, right? Create some more challenges for yourself. Well, that's where that level comes into play. Because if you switch to advanced, you will see that more steps are being added. So in this case, there are more steps being added to this, I would say, pre-flight check. But if you would move to those other menus, you would also see that they will, I'd say, be changed, right? For example, if you go to the uh, preliminary pre-flight checks, there's now that emergency exit light, which is uh, switched on, right? Window heating is switched on, uh, I would say, is on the list. And that by default is not in the list if we would move to standard, right? So if we would move to standard, then you can see that the list is, would say, containing 21 items. Well, if we would go to the advanced, it already contains 27 items. And that goes further and further, of course. In some cases, there's not much to add, to be honest. But in some other cases, there's more information to add. Uh, the most things are added in the pre-flight checks. Uh, that's at least what I figured out. Uh, and also in the uh, before taxi and before takeoff. But of course, you also have those different menus, right? The in-flight menu and also the post-flight menu, which contains a lot of steps which you can take. So eight uh, out of the box, VS, six via standard, right? So two more steps in advanced. But as you already saw, there's also an expert mode. That expert mode, I would say I looked around and there are some changes uh, but I would say I would be surprised if you would would find them because they are I would say really limited because the expert mode is comparable with the advanced mode there might be some small difference in it but based on what I figured out there's not too much differences in most cases so using the menu on the top of the checklist you can increase the difficulty of using the checklist in Flight Simulator 2024, but also to make it more realistic to use the checklist. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you're searching for more content about Flight Simulator 2024, then have a look at my uh, channel. And of course, also don't forget to like this video if you like this type of videos, because then I know that I need to create more of this content for you as the community. Thanks for watching and hope to see you back next time.